Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition, click new. Rename it final. For this composition, I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame per second is 30 and duration of this composition is 10 seconds. Click OK. Now go to Timeline, right click and add a solid layer. Rename it to BG. Change its color to dark gray. Click OK. Again go to Timeline, right click and add a solid layer. Rename it to Solid. Change its color to black. Go to Effects and Presets. And add a grid effect to this layer. Go to this effect. Change size from corner point to width and height sliders. Change width and height to 200. Change border to 1. And opacity to 50%. Again go to effects and presets. And add a noise effect. Change amount of noise to 5%. Now add a tint effect to this layer. Change amount of tint to 30%. Now add a curves effect to this layer. Change the color channels as per your need. Make the solid layer to 3D. Now open the solid layer transform properties. Change Z rotation to 13 and change scale to 148. Add adjustment layer to the timeline. Go to toolbar and add eclipse mask to it. Go to effects and presets and add exposure effect to this layer. Change exposure to minus 3. Go to Mask and change its mode to Subtract. Now open Mask Properties and change Mask Feather to 300. Now create a new composition. Rename it to Texture A. Size is 1920 by 1920 pixels. Click OK. Add the alphabet A using Text Toolbar. Align the alphabet to the middle. Now add a Fill Color property. Change its color to Light Blue. Duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D and change its visibility. Now right click to this timeline and add a solid layer to it. Rename it to Form. Click OK. Go to Effects and Presets and add Trap Code Form effect to this layer. Go to Layer Maps and go to Color and Alpha. Change the layer to Alphabet A. Change its functionality to RGB to RGBA and change map over to XY. Now change the track mat of second layer to alpha inverted mat form. Go to base form. Change size of XYZ. Change size Z to 10. Change particles in X and Y to 1000. And change particles in Z to 20. Go to particles. Change Sphere Feather to 100. Size to 0.4. Change Color to Text Color. Go to Shading and turn on Shadow Lit. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. Go to Disperse and Twist. Click Stopwatch next to Disperse. Changes its value to 20. Now move the timeline to 98 frames and change its value to 5. Press U to open keyframes. Select both the keyframes and right click. Go to Keyframe Assistant. Easy ease both the keyframes. Go to Fractal Field. Now move the timeline to 0 seconds. And click Stopwatch next to X, Y and Z displays. Change the values to 200, 100 and minus 1500. Move the timeline to 98 frames and change the values to minus 50, 0 and minus 100. Easy ease all the keyframes. Change flow evolution to 0. Change minutes value to 0 and max value to 3. Change complexity to 10. And octave multiplier to 0 0.8. Now go to visibility and change far vanish to 795 and change far start fade to 790. Go to time align, right click and add a camera. Use 50mm preset for camera. Open the camera properties. Go to transform. Change the Z position to minus 800. Now go to camera options and change focus distance to 800 and aperture to 100 pixels.
Now right click on the timeline and add a light to this composition. Change the light type to point. Change intensity to 100. Click OK. Open the light properties. Change position to 292, 880 and minus 1000. Go to light options and change radius to 500. Now duplicate this light, by pressing Ctrl D. Again right click on the timeline to add a light. Change the light type to ambient. Change intensity to 200%. Click OK. Wait for the effects to happen. Now go to project window. And duplicate text to composition and rename it to text T. Open the text T composition. Go to last layer and change the alphabet from A to T. And also for other layer as well. Go to form and press U to open all the keyframes. Move the timeline to 25 frames. And move all the first keyframes to 25 frames. Change the value of all keyframes to 0. Now go to 98 frames and change the values to 30, 200, 100 and minus 1500. Go to text layer and change its color as per your need. Copy the color code and paste it to other layer as well. Now go to forms layer and go to particles and change the color also. Check the animation for both the composition. Perfect. Go to final composition and drag both the text composition to the timeline. Make both composition as 3D. Select both composition and press S to open scale property. Change the values to 41. Now press P for position. Change text T layer position to 964, 489 and minus 100. Now change the position of text A layer to 849, 654 and minus 99. Go to effects and presets and add a Gaussian blur effect to text T. Change blurriness value to 5. Check repeat edge pixels. Again go to effects and presets. And add a drop shadow effect to this layer. Change opacity to 100%. Change distance to 0. And softness to 250. Again go to effects and presets and add a curves effect to this layer. Change the color channels as per your need. Now add a text Adobe to this composition. Make it to 3D. Press P for position and change its position as per your need. Duplicate the text layer. Press P for position and change its position as per your need. Do it again for Adobe Tutorials text. Now add an adjustment layer to this composition. Rename it to Glow. Go to Effects and Presets. And add a glow effect to this layer. Change glow threshold to 37.6%. Glow radius to 200 and glow intensity to 0.2. Change composition original from behind to none. Add a solid layer to this composition. Rename it to form. Go to effects and presets. And to trap code. Add a form effect to this layer. Go to base form. Change the value of size X and Y to 200 and size Z to 1000. Change particles X and Y to 5 and particles Z to 3. Now go to particles. Change opacity to 50. Change blend mode from normal to add. Go to disperse and twist. Change disperse value to 500. Go to fractal field. Change displace from 0 to 500. Change flow evolution to 2. Now add a camera to this comp. Go to camera options and to transform. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. And click stopwatch next to position. Change its Z position value to minus 2000. Now move the timeline to 98 frames and change its Y position value to 397 and Z position value to minus 2100. Easy ease both the keyframes. 
Again move the timeline to 0 frames. And click the stopwatch next to Z rotation. Changes its value to 3. Now move the timeline to 98 frames and changes its value to 2. Select both keyframes and press F9 for easy ease. Go to camera options and move the timeline again to 0 frames and click stopwatch next to focus distance. Change its value to 2000 pixels. Now move the timeline to 98 frames and changes its value to 2100 pixels. Easy ease both the keyframes. Change aperture to 100 pixels and blur level to 300%. Now add an adjustment layer to this composition. Go to effects and presets. And add exposure effect to this layer. Press Alt button and click stopwatch next to exposure, to add a script. Copy the script from the description and paste it here. Go to effects and add hue and saturation effect to this layer. Change master lightness to 7. Add a tint effect to this layer. Change amount of tint to 30%. Now lastly add a curve effect to this layer. Change the color channel as per your need. You can add as many color effect to this composition, to make it more beautiful. Now play the animation to check. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.